Well, I'm getting ready for lunch. Today, I'm making delicious pot sticker soup. Now, I buy these little pot stickers frozen. Today, I'm using um, vegetable flavored pot stickers. I have, um, uh, here, we'll, we'll just top it off to uh, four cups. So I have four cups of water. I'm going to add one capful, which we know equals two tablespoons of Epicure's rum and broth. Now, maybe I should look and see what they suggest, but they say two tablespoons to a cup and a half of boiling water. But I'm, I'm not just making just the, the broth, right? So I, I have other flavors that are going to be mingling in there. So as you saw, I have my little um, pot stickers or wontons or whatever you want to call them. I've gone ahead and I've uh, shredded some cabbage. I have a few um, snow peas, I shredded a carrot, and I'm putting in a few sprigs of um, chives. And I'm going to have to, probably have to add more water. But so far, I, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to add more water. Because, as you can see, everything's kind of crowded in there. But I'm going to wait, because this really isn't going to take long to cook. And I did take some uh, cilantro out uh, to put on top uh, when I'm ready to um, serve my soup. So I'm just going to add another cup of water. Now that's what's nice about these uh, little storage <laughs> or ramekin bowls. Or they're great to cook, great to microwave, always have the measuring. They freeze well, they refrigerate well, the, and they have these cute little um, lids that fit just perfectly. So I'm going to let that simmer away. Well, it's a great thing to rest your spoon in. <laughs> I'll let that simmer. Uh, well, first I'll bring it to a boil, and then I'll let it simmer to um, cook the uh, cabbage and the carrots. It won't, and the, and the um, snow peas. Now, it won't take long, but um, we'll be right back. Well, the soup's ready. Like I said, I buy these um, frozen pot stickers. I've gone ahead and I've added uh, some cabbage, shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, some um, snow peas, and Epicure's delicious ramen seasoning, ramen soup seasoning. So let me serve this up and I'll see you at the table. So here we have it, delicious soup. And by the way, uh, the two tablespoons of ramen broth in four, what was that, four cups of water is plenty. Now I just want to say that if you find um, your uh, product a bit bland, uh, add a wee bit of salt because we're all so used to eating salt in everything we buy that when we eat something that doesn't have salt, uh, like the Epicure products, we find them bland. So like I say, I, in this soup I did add a wee bit of salt and it's because I don't have any soy sauce. Wah, wah, wah. But I'll tell you 
It's absolutely delicious without the soy sauce. So uh, make yourself a nice bowl of soup today. Takes a few minutes. I hope you uh, enjoy your Epicure products and you enjoy the videos. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. And um, bon appétit.